For the past 73 years, the National Turkey Federation has presented the National Thanksgiving Turkey to the President, starting under President George H.W. Bush. These birds have received a formal pardon every single year. Today is my honor to present to you this year's lucky bird, corn, and just in case we needed him, cob. Corn and cob. That's not too hard to remember, is it? These two magnificent gobblers were selected from the official presidential flock of 30 turkeys, some real beauties. He's been waiting for this, and uh, bring him out. Look at that beautiful, beautiful bird. Oh, so lucky. That is a lucky bird. President Trump pardons turkeys, corn, and cob during the annual presidential turkey pardon ceremony. <laughs> corn, I hereby grant you a full pardon. Thank you, Corn. What a great. These two turkeys sought to win the support of Iowans across the state by naming themselves Corn and Cobb. After today's ceremony, these birds will retire under the care of skilled veterinarians at Iowa State University, a tremendous university, in Ames. Once there, people of all ages will be able to visit them and learn about poultry science, veterinary medicine, and the noble American tradition of farming. We love our farmers, I'll tell you. And we hope and we know that's going to happen, that corn and cob have a very long, happy, and memorable life. This year, our nation commemorates the 400th anniversary of the Pilgrims landing on Plymouth Rock. After arriving in the New World, the brave men and women of the Mayflower endured a bitter and dangerous winter, very, very dangerous winter. Many were sick, most were starving, and all were praying for a miracle. Thankfully, God heard their prayers. From our earliest days, America has always been a story of perseverance and triumph, determination and strength, loyalty and faith. This week, in a time that is very unusual, but in so many ways, very, very good, what we've endured and been able to endure with the vaccines now coming out one after another. It's an incredible thing that happened. One of the greatest medical achievements that this planet has ever seen. But it's time to remember that we live in a great, great country, the greatest of them all. And there's nothing even close as far as I'm concerned. Every American can be united in thanksgiving to God for the incredible gifts he has bestowed upon us, the blessings of family, community, and this exceptional, beautiful, and great country. It's greater than ever before. Happy Thanksgiving, Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.